guys welcome back to my channel to all my new subscribers thank you so much for pressing that red subscribe button we are happy to have you here at young and christian and i hope you enjoyed this video so based on the title of this video you all know what's about to happen epic of course you are about to finally well not finally because if you've been watching my channel for a while you've probably seen my husband in like vlogs and stuff but it's time to officially introduce to you my uh, husband Francis welcome <laughs> hi baby so hey, cute how you doing? I'm good <laughs> so this is my uh, my husband Francis and what we'll be doing is just going through some questions that um i got on my twitter and also some random questions that i googled and we'll just let you guys get to know us as a couple and yeah so let's begin so first question is how and where did we meet well what i remember is um the UE and UTEC um team there was a there was a sport event mm -hmm. and uh, there was a competition against the UE and the UTEC teams and uh, I decided to go. And well, about the UE and the UTEC is basically the two top universities in Jamaica. So continue. <laughs> well, I'm affiliated to both UE, the University of the West Indies, and UTEC, the University of Technology. So I had to be um, on both you were sides. Torn. Actually, <laughs> so um, I decided to go to the event. Right. Um, we, we we had met before, but officially that was the place that we actually got the chance to, to speak. To speak we've to seen each other, other before, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, we've seen each other before. That was the place that we got the chance to talk to each other, mm. and we. If you, if you want to call it, hit it off. Right? Oh boy. Oh please. It was love at, at first sight for you. Well, love at first sight. She was lovely. Oh. I mean, can you imagine? God blessed me to actually meet this beautiful young lady. She, after, after just getting to talk to her, she was, um, I saw the beauty in her um, from just the first conversation. We, um, we spoke. Mm -hmm. We walked, we talked. You can imagine she actually walked me back to the gate. Who does that? I mean, you. <laughs> How do you not... know I wasn't trying to get rid of you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I remember that, yeah, I walked yes. you to the gate. And I was impressed by that because um, not many females would take the time to actually see that um, this young man that is actually interested in them actually is okay finding a way back um, <laughs> and uh, checking up on him to find out that he's okay and stuff like that. So I was really impressed and uh, after getting to know her, I found out that she was just this really lovely young lady. Aww. <laughs> okay, so after my husband took 45 minutes <laughs> answering the first question, we will move on to the second question. But yes, that's how we met at that mm -hmm. event. So the second question, what were our first impressions of each other? I think you kind of just answered that, yeah, did kinda, you? Yeah, I kind of said it, yeah. But my first impression was an awe. Um, I just felt that she was... Uh, my soulmate. Oh babe, you did not feel that. <laughs> Boy, no, sit let me, down. Let me, tell you, let me tell you why I said that. The first couple of minutes that I started, that I get to interact with her, she came across as somebody that is just like me. Caring. Caring about um, not just her family, because I found out that she's a family person also. Well, I am. And, uh, Caring about her family, caring about persons around her, and wanting to ensure that everybody around her feels that love. And mm -hmm. I found out that she was really just like me. She had a lot of the traits 
that I possess and I, I, I and a lot of the qualities that I um, hold dear also. So I was really impressed. Okay, babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your answers are so loud. <laughs> okay, I see you're gonna do it all out, babe. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that was first impressions. Okay, so my first impressions of Francis was that um he was very humble and just easy to talk to you know when you meet people like some people they're not really as easy to talk to like there's awkward moments it wasn't really an awkward moment it was just like it just flowed so i was like oh this guy is kind of cool <laughs> so yeah it was i had a good impression of him yeah so that was that <laughs> so the next question is how long have you guys been married how long have you been married? We've been married for just over two years. Going towards the third year now. <laughs> really? Is that your final answer? <laughs> we're, going, your final we're going answer? three years now. Okay, so it was January. Right. Okay, so January. we got married January 2015. 16, 17. 17, that's two. Oh, okay, so you were right. <laughs> You were right. Yeah, so 2018, we were three full years. Mm -hmm. Wow. Three yeah. years have gone by fast now. Yeah. Very fast. Mm -hmm. All right. So next question. What do what do we do for fun? Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, we definitely love worshiping, going to church and all yeah. of that. Yeah. yeah. We do enjoy our worship sessions at yeah. church. They and we, and interacting, yeah, and interacting with people at church and people generally. But otherwise, on that, yeah, we'll go to the movies. Oh, I yeah. knew that would be your answer, <laughs> guys. We're like an, I wouldn't say an old couple, no. but when it comes to that, in terms we don't of going really, out, yeah. Okay, I think, I think one other thing is happening right now is that we've been working a lot. Oh yeah, we've, yeah, been, we've working been working so a lot. Much, and we haven't gotten the chance to actually go out as we normally go out because when we just met we, we used to go out quite often yeah. Yeah, more, more often than we're, we're way, going out way now often, right. but, but then again remember mm -hmm. that we met before we you know we yeah. dedicated our lives to jesus so yeah. there were more options i don't know if you guys you know as a christian and christian couples if you go through the same struggle like to find somewhere where you can go and feel comfortable and have fun as a christian couple so since then we haven't really been we don't, there's not a lot of options so yeah it's yeah, like it's restaurants movies, movies, or movies restaurants, restaurants movies, movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's been but the thing is yeah. we, we go to church a lot so um like sometimes we, if we're not working well um we'll be at church most of the time trying to trying to catch up on some of the events that are at church mm -hmm. oh yes we go to um to 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 where? I, I want gospel to know. concert. Yeah, yeah, we do. Yeah, but like, gospel concert. That's, those are things that you know not, are not really somewhere we can say, okay, babe, let's go to a gospel concert tonight. Yeah. You know, like it's when it's when they're happening. But yeah, that mm -hmm. is fun. Mm -hmm. So that's what we do, <laughs> basically. All right. So the next question is: Are you jealous of each other? Mm. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, okay, let me wait. start. <laughs> no, let me start. I was not jealous in the beginning, but I don't even. Is it? I don't think it's since we got married. No, yeah. it's just been like the past year. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've just like my jealousy tank. Has <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but you are a good-looking man. Well, thank you. <laughs> Whatever. But the truth is, you are beautiful, mm -hmm. pretty, mm -hmm. and uh, you're easy to talk to. I mean, you um, it's easy to um interact with you. So I, I know mm -hmm. that there, I mean there are guys out there that are gonna try to step to my wife. But are you jealous? Am I are jealous? You jealous? He's not a jealous person. No, I don't know where he's I going. I try. <laughs> I try. I try to ensure that um she doesn't. Um, get any negative energy from me at all so and I, I i i must give god thanks that he how, how can i say that um husband he's like 
the Holy Spirit has hasn't really allowed that jealousy spirit. Yeah, the like, jealousy to spirit to come on. on. Yeah. And it, the truth is, um, my my personality is somewhat of a humble individual that try to ensure that everybody's around everybody that is around me feels comfortable feels um feel loved so i'm gonna try to um to, to always put the person that is around me before me so that jealousy spirit um of course sometimes i feel um a little bit jealous because um <laughs> if i if i see somebody step into my life i'm gonna wonder um what kind of motives do they have you know but <laughs> no, um, we can't control people's motives we just exactly. can't control ourselves so that's a tip all right yeah. guys um the next question is what's the no what's the secret to a happy couple wow wow um, it is actually explained in the bible mm -hmm. i must say mm -hmm. because um if we follow the word right. the word of god it actually allows us to understand that um, we can be successful in marriage a hundred percent of the time. Yeah. One hundred percent of the time. Mm -hmm. If we genuinely love God, I mean that love that the Holy Spirit puts within us is just gonna spill over. Yes, yeah, so it's easier to forgive and, and those that's things. That's one. very important. Forgiveness. Let me, forgiveness. Let me say this. I have decided mm -hmm. that whatever my wife does i've made um a decision that it doesn't matter what she will do in the future mm -hmm. i've already forgiven her and will Aww. forgive her of everything that she will um she will ever do if she does anything wrong mm -hmm. i've actually told her that there's nothing that she can do to cause me to love her less I remember one time I did something and we were, you know, cuddling. I was like, well, he didn't even know what I really did, but you know, when you do something, you are guilty. So I was like, I'm sorry. And he was like, I forgive you. I was like, oh, I, I didn't even tell him what I did. I don't think I even have told you up to this mm -hmm. day. But you know, it's very important to forgive each other, and it's also very important to have fun with each other. Exactly. I think having fun with each other is a very important part mm -hmm. of being in a relationship. Just do fun things, change it up, mix it up, go places that you've never been before, do things that you've never done. And it's when you do it as a couple uh -huh. together, you share those memories, and you can just sit down and say, Babe, like, remember when we did. Mm -hmm. Wow, and those things are really important in a relationship. Having fun together is not like, oh, ladies' night. Oh, thank God, I'm finally <laughs> gonna have fun. And it's you know, yeah. males' night. Thank God, you no, you have we to learn to have fun yeah. together and together. laugh a lot, exactly. and not be so serious about everything. Like just laugh a lot. Like we laugh <laughs> a lot because yeah. like it's not that serious. Like calm down. Yeah, <laughs> that's and another tip. Another tip, we have to respect each other. Oh, respect. We have to respect each other. Yeah. Understand that we are different, even though we're, I mean, we are lucky to have so much things in common, but we are, we are two different persons and mm -hmm. we have to respect the difference mm -hmm. and also get to learn to know each other. I mean, get to know each other and respect each other, mm -hmm. right? Love mm -hmm. and respect each other. So if we go back, it's, Forgiveness, mm -hmm. um, having Fol fun together, following laughing, of course, following the word of God, mm -hmm. um, praying together. We don't need to yeah. expound on that. Praying together. And what was that thing you were saying? Uh, get, get to know each other and respect. And each respect. Other. So, yeah, mm -hmm. those are very fundamental things to a happy relationship. Now, the next question is what's the most annoying thing he does? What's the most annoying thing she does? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know this answer. You know okay. the answer. Yeah. Spill the beans. Okay. Okay, let me <laughs> well, this is supposed to be private. So we're putting everything out there. Oh my. What are you gonna say? What are you gonna say? Okay. She has this 
hereditary tree. Mm -hmm. That she played Miss Hereditary. I love that you said hereditary. So that means yes. I had no chance in life. <laughs> but to do it, I had no chance. Yeah. It was like born this way. <laughs> yeah. So she built Jeep sometimes. Like a truck driver. Mm. But <sighs> Yeah, so I, I just I just gotta just gotta remind myself. Listen, I love this lady. I love this lady. Yeah, so. But it was in the family, and you know I try my best to keep it under control. And I know that I think one time my cousin was like, if we don't do it like that, and we like keep it in and do it to quit, it was a cute. Like all that gas is just going back down, and it's just gonna come back and make you bloated and more gassy. Well, gosh. she have a flat stomach, so I guess. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's why I have a flat stomach, because I let it out. So, <laughs> most annoying thing about Mr. Francis. I know what this is. What is answer? Does that why I answered mine? No, well, I know. I answered. An answer. Well. No, you answer. Answer! <laughs> okay. I tend to sometimes overemphasize um, certain things if I am annoyed at it. Overemphasize <laughs> is an understatement. Like he I say it twice. Would, he exaggerates. Mm -hmm. He exaggerates. And he's like, I'm like, relax. <laughs> like, relax. So he has an over exaggerated type of thing where if he something is not the way he wants it to be, it's like over exaggeration. I tend to explain myself clearly. That, that, that's what it is. Maybe twice sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe twice? Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. In different so, ways. Right. <laughs> so the next question is what was most memory what was the most memorable mo what was <laughs> the most memorable moment that we've had together wow, that had, you've had with your spouse we've had a lot of memorable moments we have like a wedding wow, yes. Um, yeah definitely a wedding our first trip together yeah our first trip. like together out of the country i was actually <laughs> i was that's why but that's i was what? actually i, I mean um our first vacation together to the hotel oh yeah when we went um, like to together as a couple and just having that time mm -hmm. together you know relaxing mm -hmm. and just so yes those are yeah what else did you say yeah i think uh, let me tell you my wife has a lovely family Aww, yeah. And every time I every time I um and I get yeah, every time I get around her and her family, mm. um some of the the, the, the the sparkling personalities that um that you see her um, display, mm. um, I can see where where it's coming <laughs> from. She has a very interesting <laughs> family, and uh, every time I get around her and her family, it's really memorable because um, yeah she she she. She has um, a Montego Bay accent, I must tell you, and it is on full display mm -hmm. <laughs> when she's around her family in Montego Bay, mm -hmm. and um, I love it. It's it's it's, um, it's just organic when yeah. I'm around my family, basically. I we just see. have our own language, and we just like yeah, it's just really really nice, you know, lying yeah. with them, and they mm -hmm. love Francis. I think they love him more than they love me. <laughs> no. Alright, All right. so I guess those are more memorable moments, basically. Mm -hmm. So next question, did we get married first, then move in, or did we live together first, before we got married? Well, we're we, living together. Before we got before married. We got there married. is a reason there, because we weren't saved, saved at that time. Well, we got convicted at mm -hmm. the same time, but that was after we we're actually living together mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um we to some extent mm -hmm. we dedicated our life to christ not and to some extent we did yeah right so we did rededicate our life 
to Christ and we're lucky we get convicted on the same night mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit just works in us works, right. and we didn't even have to say anything to each other in terms of um, after what, that yeah, moment and we decided what to live for Jesus to we mm -hmm. still remained under the same roof but but we just knew if you exactly, get what I'm saying we just knew exactly what yeah. to do well we couldn't Until say the, we, well, it was revealed to us by the Holy Spirit we didn't even have yes. to say anything it just until the until we got married right yeah. then, we, so, then we then we came back together, together. <laughs> but um, yeah we made it work right under the same roof yeah mm -hmm. so that's and, the answer do you have anything yeah. else to say that's it all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. all right so next question did he ask for your hand in marriage yes he did yes i did yeah, in fact, yeah. I met her father, I met her mother. Mm -hmm. Um, we, we spoke about getting married. Mm -hmm. We, um, we talked about it because, um, now that we have well, we, we've always been talking about getting married, mm -hmm. but everything got expedited when we got convicted, right. and the fact that we were living under the same roof, right? And, uh, <laughs> The fact that we, we knew we knew anyways that, yeah that, that this we is what we to wanted be to together. Do. Yeah. So, so we just decided to do it. set the date. Go ahead. Do it. Yeah, so he did. Um where did we go for our first date? I don't remember that. I honestly don't remember. So please our first date. Take it real. Hmm. Was the same place that I put in the food, do you remember? Our that Greek restaurant. Our first date was at Opa. Opa! Yeah. Opa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, that Valentine's Day, do you remember? Yeah. That was the Valentine's after? Valentine's Day would be our first date. No, because we went from the... That was like our first... Oh, that was... That was like mm -hmm. our first, like, okay, let's use that. <laughs> Wanna use that? So we did not go out from no, we actually, October to <laughs> December to from I remember, October to we January. Went, I remember after meeting you, we spoke, but we weren't official. We weren't together together. Okay, so we were official on <laughs> Valentine's Day. No, we're actually, okay, so. We'll just use that because I really don't remember, but I remember mm -hmm. that one. So I guess that, if that stands out, I guess that was our first date, right? Yeah. And that was very, that kind of went viral, that picture of us. Oh, yeah. OMG. I'm going to post it after, like, I'm going to insert it or just post it right after this so you can see. But that went viral. Yeah, guys. Yeah. And keep in mind, <laughs> that was before yeah. we rededicated our lives to the Lord. Yeah. So don't judge us. I remember a young lady came up to us and to me and said, Hey, is that your wife? And I said, Yeah, that's 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 my girl. Yeah. And she, and she said, Oh my, she is hot. She's <laughs> lovely. So Beautiful. yeah, so guys, that was Beautiful. before. Okay. Now our next question is how do how do you keep the flame in your relationship after Years of being together. <laughs> How do I keep the flame? How do, How we, do keep we keep the keep flame? flame? Yeah. I think loving each other and genuinely loving each other mm -hmm. um, is very important. Mm -hmm. But um, we can't we can't put okay. We work a lot, but we try not to um, allow work to totally dominate mm -hmm. our um, relationship. Yeah, when we we're together, to we try to interact and make time and right? say I love you every day. Yeah, and do different things, do yeah. fun things, right? Can't be the same thing. Don't let yeah. it be a routine. Yes, everybody, you know, to function, mm -hmm. you kind of have a routine, but you know, throw things in yeah. there. Something. I trouble her a lot. I kiss her on her neck. Um, if she's cooking, I go up and hug her. And he does the and cutest thing, <laughs> like when he comes home from work. <laughs> And he sees it and cooking like glad bag boss. <laughs> <laughs> so I he's do, so annoying. I he do comes love in the kitchen. Co Thank love you. Thank you. Join the line. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
he comes in the kitchen and he comes behind me and he's like, so I'm like, why we know yeah, that you're happy that I'm cooking, but seeing too much. <laughs> but yeah, like just those little things, just laugh. Don't be so serious about it. You know, just laugh. Anything I'm making? Secret. Okay. Yeah, just laugh. <laughs> just laugh and be happy and be fun with each other. Like, you know, being married especially. Like and just be happy and be comfortable if you're not comfortable when you're married what are you gonna say? yeah for real it's, it's gonna be difficult if you can't if you difficult. can't let your hair down mm -hmm. take off the spanks and let it all out and just <laughs> when you're married then there's there's something wrong like we pray for you and yeah, yeah. so yeah just like do fun things and just be Spontaneous, spontaneous and just have and fun just love life. yeah exactly so we are coming to the end so <laughs> do an impression of each other huh. <laughs> 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 what would i do what am i gonna do yeah, I like a but anyway no <clears throat> but like your best impression mm -hmm. Hey my people, this is Okay, we can do it. This is your girl, that's that's it. Another impression. I can't see. believe you went there. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Another impression. If you make faces like. <laughs> what faces? She's very, she's very funny. I must stop. It's like. Okay. I don't know how I'm gonna say no to her daughter. Because. Well, I'm gonna have to learn to. Because. <laughs> She has the face for everything. It's like mm. she after something is like. <laughs> she's so that cute. ladies, you know what I mean. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta <Yeah>. work. <laughs> <laughs> she's lovely. Okay, so my impression of Francis. Mm. Say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Promise me. <laughs> You're not gonna be like that <laughs> <laughs> when we have kids. <laughs> Every single time. Every I time. Twice. twice. You know what you mean? You know? Mm. You said it twice? Oh my yeah. lord. For this year. Repent. Repent for, for, for that statement. For this year. Repent for that statement. Every time I felt like. No, not, no, oh man, not every time. Okay. I yeah twice twice every time this, I bet. Okay, year. next question. <laughs> this this year. Next question. I know they believe me because they are my kids. They know. See, sir, exaggeration. No, he's exaggerating that he only says it twice. But this year. Next question. <laughs> How do you deal with strife? Strife. Well, you lost that question. We talk. That's that's one thing that I've um, resolved to do. Mm -hmm. That if there is something, if there's this, um, if there's strife between us, if there's something that is causing us to, to um, not speak. Yeah, we talk. Ensure that yeah. we talk. And we never but go to bed angry. Yeah. You know, I, I think a lot of couples it. say that and sometimes people just say, oh, mm -hmm. every couple says that. But it's really important though. If you, It's something that should be practiced. And if you practice it as a couple, you can't go wrong. Like, not going to bed angry because when you go to bed angry, it festers. And that little fester can turn into resentment. And that resentment can cause you mm -hmm. to close off yourself from your partner. And that's just unhealthy there's no good coming out of that from any 
direction and once you close off yourself from your partner mm -hmm. downhill from there my evening bed yeah definitely mm -hmm. and you mm. pray a lot praying pray just lot. talk to the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. and ask him to guide him mm -hmm. there are times when the devil carry mm -hmm. an accusation mm -hmm. to you mm -hmm. about your partner right and you know that's not true right there are certain things that um because in the moment you might be a little bit angry at her or, or him yeah <laughs> or you 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 you're thinking about the thing that she did mm. the devil will carry some accusation against her and let's make you overthink this exactly so what i do as paul mm. said i i preach I, I capture those thoughts and i say you know what that is not mm. true mm -hmm. that is not true and i mm -hmm. threw it off as quick as possible right that's a I very said, important yeah point. i said listen up. i know the, the the lady that i married right. and i know um the the, the couple that we're going to be so i mean that we need to capture those thoughts and just throw them out and know that they are from the devil right. and just um think about the the positive things and mm -hmm. the, the good things about your wife and not allow uh, a moment of anger to cause you to, uh, to, to, to add any other negative just be like don't to. even devil you tried it like yeah. go sit down have several seats i love my man or i love my girl Go sit down. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Cover us under the blood of Jesus, Lord. Cover us mm -hmm. under your blood. You just have to just say things in your mind. Repeat the scriptures. And just remember that good, that reason why you're with your partner. That reason why you married your partner or you're exactly. courting your partner. Mm -hmm. Or just remember that reason why you're even there with this person to even be in the situation where you're striving or just having a um misunderstanding or just a little you know disagreement yeah. just think that about the that. simplest thing exactly which is stupid so mm -hmm. yeah um okay so the next question is how would you describe your husband in three words and how would you describe your wife in three words so i'll go first <laughs> so my husband is humble he is kind and he's very hard working. So, yeah. I would say. Okay. I would say my wife is <laughs> beautiful. Aww. And that's she's handsome. <laughs> that's that that's more than just physical beauty. Mm -hmm. She's loving. She's really loving. But what's love? That's, okay, sorry. And she's, <laughs> and she's really sorry. kind, though. So she's, she's really kind. Mm -hmm. A lot more, but she said three. Right? Three, right? Okay. Exactly. So those are our three. And the final question How did you know he was the one? How did you know she was the one? Did hmm. I know? Wow. I don't even know. I just knew. Is there was something? just. Something it's just something that you just know just in your gut because you know that you dated somebody that in your gut you were like child what am i doing <laughs> i need to get out of this situation lord take the wheel jesus <laughs> you know that they were not the one but when yeah. it comes to just knowing the one it's just i wish hmm. there, there were certain Okay, so certain qualities that she possessed <laughs> and certain things that yeah, I've always looked forward to. Apart from her being I mean, beautiful, pretty, I think that I just knew that I wanted to be with this young lady. I wanted to be with her and there was no two ways about it. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that I knew <laughs> that you knew that like, knew. it's just something that you know that you know that you know just like when you know with our salvation you just know that you know that you know that you know you yeah. have your salvation and that there's there you serve a God that is real even mm -hmm. when you just can't explain it you just know that you know that you know 
So it's just something that you know and as I said, just always go with your gut. Sometimes we say it's our gut, but actually it's our spirit. Oh, that's the spirit yeah, leading you. Yeah, talking to our spirit that's leading us. And you will just know. That's 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 uh mm -hmm. we can really say. You will and if you don't know, know, it might not be. But consult the Holy pray, Spirit. Pray. pray about it. And um I must say, there's there are times that persons want to be one. Yeah. But they need to be ready. To be yeah, one. they're not ready, yeah. but they get they themselves want ready. Yeah. Get yourself ready mm -hmm. for the person that you want mm -hmm. in your life. Mm -hmm. And I think when you're ready, if the person is ready, and when you meet them, it, it you will both be, be ready. Yeah, it will be yeah. it will be hard to actually meet the right person mm -hmm. at the wrong time. When you're not ready mm -hmm. so when you're ready you just meet somebody that's ready but first oh don't be ready. like oh i need a husband i need a husband and girl you're, you're not ready. ready like you have issues to sort out you have an attitude you don't want to be submissive you don't want to pray you don't want to be an intercessor like you just these things that we need to work on yeah. separately before we can think about marrying somebody's son or somebody's daughter we have to try to work on ourselves and then pray and then God will do the rest. Work on ourselves and our relationship with the Lord. And trust God. Trust before we want yeah. to be with somebody and have a relationship with them. Yeah. So yeah, basically that's our tips. And that's it for our husband tag. He was so sweet. <laughs> Guys, you know how long I've been trying to get? This young man to do a husband tag. Remember, if you watch my retreat video, <laughs> after I struggled <laughs> with all those equipment, well, actually, you brought them. <laughs> and yeah. we were supposed to do a husband tag. You did it. So, thank you, Mr. Francis. This is sweet. I had a lot of work. Of finally doing this husband tag. I know we are happy to see you, and we are happy that this video is finally done. <laughs> and, guys, yeah, so this is my husband and this is us and we're not perfect and we are just imperfect people trying to you know serve a perfect God to the best of our abilities and yeah so just comment in the comment section say what you want to say or even more questions if you want us to do another one you know in the future Hmm, some questions sorry that you would probably have wanted us to answer you just can put them in the comment section below and if you like this look comment as well if you want me to do a video on this look and yeah so that's it for today so you know my tagline at the end of my videos what yes. do i say just remember <laughs> that i love you jesus love you. <laughs> Jesus is Lord, I died, I died. and I'll see you very, very, very soon. soon. He even did it for the baby. Bye, guys. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't there the whole time but